This is a review for the Eufy X10 Pro Omni. This robot usually retails for about $600 to $800, which puts it in the mid-range category by our classifications. So how does it compare to other mid-range robots we've tested? Let's take a look. The X10's airflow was measured at 17 CFM. This is an average result. This robot's suction was measured at 0.23 kPa. This is a below average result. The X10's brush roll compartment is about half an inch narrower than that of most other robot vacuums we've tested. It's also more off-center than competitors. The brush roll itself features a more traditional design with bristles. Most competitors have an all-rubber brush roll without bristles. The upside of a bristled brush roll is increased carpet agitation. The downside is that it can easily get wet and messy when the robot is mopping over wet surfaces. The X10 also features a single side brush that helps pull debris from the perimeter of the robot into the path of its brush roll. In our debris pickup tests, the X10's navigation had much more of an impact on performance though than its actual vacuum components. You can see here how the X10 uniquely whips away from edges in our carpet stress test. This pathing is useful for mopping. It allows the robot's mopping pads to get closer to the edge, but it really isn't useful for vacuuming, especially on carpet. Nonetheless, the robot paths this way while vacuuming and there's no way to turn this edge pathing off. The robot also generally doesn't path very efficiently in the small test environment. It repeatedly tries to exit the test area through this bottom right section. What we're looking for in this test though is pick up on carpet, and the X10 does appear to pick up most types of debris on carpet without issue. In our carpet deep clean test on default power, the X10 picked up five grams of debris after three passes over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of fine debris and on maximum power, it picked up eight grams of debris after three passes. These are both fairly average results for a robot vacuum. Moving on to our hard floor stress test, the X10 paths very similarly to the way it did in our carpet stress test. Again, we're looking for pickup performance in this test though, and the X10 picks up most types of debris on hard floors without issue. When it comes to edge pickup, the X10's unique edge pathing doesn't really help its performance, but it doesn't really hurt it either. The X10 picks up edge debris just about as well as most competitors. The X10 did fail our crevice test. It didn't pull up any debris out of the crevice on default or maximum power, even after extensive runtime. This robot also didn't perform very well in our human hair pickup test. In this test, it picked up all of the hair, but most of that hair wasn't pulled into its dustbin. 70 to 90% of the hair it picked up tangled around its brush roll and had to be cleaned off manually. That being said, this is a fairly average result for this test. In our pet hair pickup test, the X10 again picked up all of the hair without issue. A single tuft would consistently get stuck around its brush roll, but it was able to collect most of the shorter pet hair used for this test in its dustbin. The X10 features two rotating pads for mopping. With this design, it performed very well in our dried on stain test. It gets an almost perfect clean after a single pass. In our sticky stain test, we can see just how well the robot's edge pathing works when mopping. And what we see here is that it does work fairly well over time. With this first pass, its movement doesn't properly sync up to the location of the stain. But with repeated movement, it does clean the stain fairly well. You can see it taking a second pass here. Moving on to other mopping features, the X10 does feature automatic mop washing and drying at its docking station. You can see it's clean and dirty water tank here and the robot itself features above average mop lifting functionality. Its mop can lift 12 millimeters off the ground, while most competitors can only lift their mops 10 millimeters or less off the ground. In our mop lifting test, the X10 lifts its mop and clears the test rug without issue, though it does lower its mop and start mopping over the edge of the rug. Uh, top rated competitors not only clear the rug, but also don't mop on the rug at all. Moving on to navigation, we tested the X10's cleaning efficiency and coverage in two different environments, an empty room and a clutter room. In our empty room testing, we see the same edge pathing we saw in our debris pickup testing. We want to stress how the edge hugging mopping feature was turned off for this test and all others, but the robot still pathed this way along edges in all tests. The issue here is that this movement offers little to no benefit when vacuuming, and there's no way to turn it off. The X10 is always pathing very inefficiently around edges, which gives it a considerably longer cleaning time than most competitor models. In our clutter room testing, we see the same inefficient edge pathing. Otherwise, the X10 paths decently, though not as smoothly, precisely, or efficiently as top rated models we recommend. Finally, we tested the robot for small obstacle detection and avoidance. 
we had this setting turned on in our pet hair pickup test, and the robot didn't have any trouble mistaking tufts of pet hair for small obstacles to avoid. It pathed right over the tufts like it should have. The X10 also performed fairly well in this test, specifically set up to test this functionality. In this first trial, it properly detects and avoids three of the five obstacles. It hesitates, but eventually does catch the edge of the small pet waste prop. It initially avoids the power cord, but catches the edge of it near the end of the run. In the second trial, it avoids all of the obstacles except one. It only catches the edge of the sock near the end of the run. And in this third trial, it again only catches the edge of the small pet waste prop. These aren't perfect results, but they are considerably better results than those of most other mid-range robot vacuums we've tested. Other important specifications and test results we considered for this review are summarized here. Note especially that this is a full-fledged mapping robot that has the ability to map multiple floors of your home. And using the Eufy Companion app, you can label different parts of the generated map, set the robot to clean specific parts of the map, or set it to stay out of certain parts of the map. In the same chart, also note the X10's runtime, bin volume, and noise output, and how those specifications and test results compare to the average for all of the robot vacuums we've tested so far. Lastly, note the robot's length, width, and height. These dimensions make the X10 slightly smaller than average. Moving on to what we like and dislike about this vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. The X10 picks up most types of surface level debris very well on carpet and hard floors. It also deep cleans carpet well for a robot vacuum and it mops well. The biggest positive for this robot though is its small obstacle detection and avoidance feature. It performed much better in our small obstacle test than most other mid-range robot vacuums we've tested. Moving on to what we dislike about this vacuum, the X10's brush roll tangles very easily with long hair. It's also one of few brush rolls we've seen that can tangle with short tufts of pet hair. Another problem with this brush roll design is that it can get wet and messy when the robot is mopping. Most competitors have rubber brush rolls that clean and dry much easier if they get wet from mopping. We also really don't like that you can't set the X10 to navigate in straight lines along edges. This type of edge pathing is highly inefficient and greatly increases the robot's overall time to clean. When it comes to general recommendations, the X10 Pro Omni can be a decent mid-range option if small obstacle detection is especially important to you. You would usually have to spend at least $1,000 to get this level of small obstacle detection in a robot vacuum. So if you have a home with children or pets, the X10 could be a decent, more affordable mid-range option for you. Otherwise, if this feature is not very important to you, we would not recommend the X10, mostly because of its brush roll design and its inefficient edge pathing. See the description of this video for the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we recommend. And thank you for watching.